Okay, you guys, uh, welcome to class. Uh, my name is Teacher Chad. <clears throat> this hour, we are, we are going to be uh, practicing our reading and our pronunciation as we read through a short story. Uh, now, the short story that we're going to uh, be reading through is located in the, uh, in the class materials. Uh, if you cannot find it, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, put it in the uh, chat box for you. Give me one second and it'll be right there. Okay, so uh, this here is the, uh, is the link to the short story we're going to read. All right, and if you are, uh, in, if you decide to come in and hang out in the uh, Google chat box, I'll put the link there for you as well. All right, let's see here. Okay, so let's see who we have in class so far. Um, Aigun, how are you? Hi, Chad Samson. How are you? I am new here. I am from Azerbaijan, from Baku. Okay, so you're from uh, Azerbaijan? Yeah, here yeah, I am from Azerbaijan. I am new in here for three days. Great. Well, good Good to have you here. And uh, um, I go, is, uh, is this a, a picture of you here in, uh, in uh, Google? Our pronunciation as we read. What? what? Uh, my picture? Uh, yes, is this a picture of you? Are you the one that's drawing in the heart? Or is this a picture yeah, from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. I'm glad to meet you in here. Thank yes. you for your lesson. Really, I love your video. Really sure. interesting. That's amazing. Sure, no problem. And uh, Aigun, what, uh, what do you enjoy doing for fun? What are your hobbies? Uh, in my life, uh, I huh? want... I enjoy to drawing, to painting, and writing something about um, my photo plans. And uh, I often drawing picture in my own home. Okay, all right, fabulous. And uh, um, what uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I am student. I am. I study at Azerbaijan Technical University. My faculty is Information Technology and Systems Engineer. Cool. I am third class. Um, yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for coming to class. It's uh, good to have you here. Uh, let's see who else we have here. What? All right. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Amir. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you, sir? I'm doing great. Now, are those uh, are those real tattoos on your arms? Amir, not uh, permanently. Uh, they are, they are permanent or they are not permanent. No, not permanent. Uh, they are temporary. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool, man. Uh, where are you from, Amir? Thank you. I'm from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Okay, great. And what do what do you do? Are you a student or uh, do you work full time already? Uh, I'm a civil engineer. Okay, fabulous. Well, good to have you here in class. Uh, thank you. I'm happy to join your class. Great. Uh, Andres, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Uh, Andres, where are you from? I am from Colombia. From Colombia, okay. And uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work uh, full time? I have just uh, finished my, my studies on. No, well, I I am looking for a job. Okay, so you finished your studies and you're looking for a job. Uh, what uh, what did you finish uh, your studies with? What's your degree in? Well, I basically I cook, you know. Okay, so you're a chef. Uh, yeah, something like, like that. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you and welcome to class. Let's uh, let's go to uh, Eduardo. How are you? Thank you. Doing well. How are you, teacher? 
I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Uh, Eduardo, have you have you been in my class before? I think I, I joined one of your class. I don't remember. Okay, maybe maybe so. Uh, I, yeah, I can't remember either. Either uh, you you uh, you look familiar, and that's why that's why I ask. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, welcome welcome to class. Uh, tell me where where are you from? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil, okay. And what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I work full time in an insurance company. Okay, in an insurance company. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, good to have you here in class. Thank you. All right. And uh, Elizabeth, welcome back to class. How are you? Hello. Hello, Seth. I'm Hi fine. there. Good. Good to have you here. How How was your day today, Elizabeth? It was a uh, normal day. Uh, not really busy. It was a uh, quiet mm, day. Okay. All right. So a nice and, nice and easy day. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, very good. Well, welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. I don't eat food. I don't eat food. I am a little nervous, you know? Uh, uh, what's that? Say that one more time. I don't eat food. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. That's what, that's what you're here to practice. Okay. Don't worry, all right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Emmanuel, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm doing good, man. Um, hey, uh, Emmanuel, are you? Uh, do you go to a uh, private school or a public school by chance here in uh, uh, Costa Rica? I am in. Well, uh, I finished my uh, my high my high uh, the high school the last year, and ah, now okay. I am. I now I am in a college, and it's from the it's from the government. Gotcha. It's yeah, I the the reason why I was asking was because my son my, my children they go to uh, the uh, the public school here and uh, and they don't have classes tomorrow and I was like well why don't you have classes and he says because the uh, the president of the United States is coming here and I was like all right so they're not gonna have classes because of that so I was gonna check and see if you are still in school if uh, if they just canceled classes for everybody because of that, yeah. which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. I, yes, uh, me as well. I don't have classes. <laughs> is that seriously? Is it because of that? Yes, I think is 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 for that because. <laughs> oh it, man. That's well, funny. for me, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Be right before yeah. the weekend. There you go, yes. man. Okay, cool. Well, uh, good to, good to have you back in class. Nice to see you again. It's my pleasure. All right, Rex, how you doing? Pretty good. Thank you, teacher, for asking me. Good. Uh, Rex, uh, where are you from? I'm from Guadalajara, Mexico. Ah, from Mexico. Great. And and what do you what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I work full time. Uh, what's your job? I'm an electronic engineer. Okay. Very cool. Uh, well, good to, good to have you here in class. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, and uh, Shadan, how are you? Hello again. Fine. How are you? Good. Good. Welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. It's my first time in this website, really. Uh, it's uh, it's your first time with uh, with Verbling. Yes. Okay. Very cool. So I was the uh, I'm I'm the lucky teacher that uh, that gets to have you in, in class. Thank you. Great. My lucky. Well, it's a um, the pleasure is all mine. It, I'm happy to have you here. Um, let's see. How about uh, Java? You made it in. I was I was thinking that you didn't make it in. I was like, oh no. <laughs> yes, finally, I mean. All I'm right. Here really Fabulous. Well, good, good to have you here. All right, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, the the link to the story we are going to read is in both chat boxes, in the verb box as well as in the Google chat box. Okay. Uh, go ahead and open that up. When you do, this is what you'll see. Now, if uh, uh, 
Uh, yes, this is uh, weekend in Maldios. Now, if uh, yeah. if um, uh, you have not been to my uh, my reading class before, um, I like to focus on pronunciation more uh, more than anything. Yes, we are going to read, but uh, we're also going to key in on certain words or phrases or uh, syllables uh, or vowels that you uh, you do not pronounce correctly. All right, and we'll practice those together. Okay, uh, so mm -hmm. let's. Uh, that's that's the main purpose of, of when I do my reading classes, All right? Uh, so let's start over on the uh, on the left hand side here with uh, Amir. And Amir, let me have you read the first two two uh, paragraphs here, starting with uh, starting at the very beginning. Uh, okay, sir. We can and Baldius after. 72 days of the patrolling the Arabian Sea waiting for the sometimes uh, waiting for the something to happen with the Iranian hostage Chris we were relieved the USS John Paul Jenny uh, John Paul Jenny's came about and said a heading for uh, for Sabik, Sabik B, Philippines at the end of March 1918. Before we left Sabik in uh, January, I had met a nice local girl who I would been I, I had been cross uh, pending with through the mail. Her name was uh, Teresa. Could you use our thesis? My birthday was a couple of days after we pulled and and so when Tizzy and I hooked it up, she asked me if I had like to I would like to go with her to to, to the place she grew up and spend the weekend at her mom and dad. She told me it was about four hours away, was a little pre primitive and in fact many of the reside, uh, residents lived in bamboo huts but her parents had a a house with three bedroom, bedrooms and uh, co concrete floor. I had carried over my, uh, yes, most of my pay for the two months at the sea and I had some leave time coming and it was my 26th birthday. I thought this could be fun and may turn out to be a birthday we can to remember. Should I continue? It's okay. okay. Uh, just all right there. Just all right there. Thank you very much. Um, let's uh, let's practice uh, a few words here. Okay. Uh, this word. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. This word here is thought. Thought. Yeah, one more time. Thought. Thought. Good. Very good. Um, now, uh, your R sounds are really good. So when you say words like remember and carried, okay, your R is really good. Now, I want to practice that with the word birthday. Okay, here you tend to roll your R a little bit saying bir. Birthday. Okay, so what we want to pronounce is an er sound saying bur, birthday. Try that, please. Birthday. Birthday. There you go. One more time. Birthday. Birthday. Okay, much better. Good. Okay, um, let's go to uh, the word concrete. Okay, the accent is at the very beginning of the word. Concrete. Concrete. Excellent. Very good job with that R. One more time. Okay, um, this word here is corresponding. Corresponding. Excellent. One more time. Corresponding. Corresponding. All right, good. Now this word, um, or this these numbers, you had pronounced as nineteen eighteen. 
Okay, now 1918 uh, would be, okay, I put that in the chat box. This is actually 1980. 1980. Good, one yeah, more time. 1980. Yeah, there you go. 1980. Good, okay. Uh, now we have uh, two names that I'd like to practice. Uh, this name here is the uh, the name of the country it is the Philippines Philippines good one more time Philippines Philippines excellent and uh, this here okay this name is Jones John Paul Jones John Paul Jones excellent okay good, good job good job excellent excellent work here thank you very good. Let's go to the next two paragraphs. And this is for Andres. Okay. Andres, uh, start off where it says, I said, and uh, go down and. Where the do I start? Okay. We boarded a bus on the morning of the 3rd of April for Manila. The ride was around a three hour trip with some beautiful scenery. Enjoyed. Of on the way. Jungle to plains to mountains to valleys. The sight outside the window was constantly changing. Tessie had packed us a lunch of home cooked potato chips, lumpia and fresh mango for dessert. We arrived in Manila around noon and from there we cooked a jitney that would take us to a point where we could catch a local bus to Valdios. A jeepney is a, convert, a converted jeep with seats installed for passengers. They have extended beds and can usually transport 8 to 10 passengers. Cost us about $5. The vehicles were painted bright colors with fringe and trinkets hanging from the sides. They are quite famous and legendary with their open air seating. About 30 minutes later, the driver led us off at a roadside bus stop, and within another 30 minutes, the bus picked us up. A little less than an hour later, Okay, great. Let's uh, let's practice some words here. Okay. All right. Now, uh, okay. this word here that I've uh, highlighted, the word is picked. Okay, that ed ending will make a t sound. Picked. Try that, please. Picked. Good. Good. Yeah, that's picked. Okay. Um, I I do want to practice. Now, are are you uh, are you uh, walking uh, or are you moving your microphone around, Andres? Um, Andres, are you are you moving your microphone around because every once in a while I, I hear a lot of banging against the microphone. No, um, I just don't have microphone on my, you know, my. Is it on your cell phone? That. Your cell phone? No. The microphone is in my computer, you know, so okay. I'm a little bit far. But I'll try to to get near. Okay, no, I can I can hear you just fine, um, but uh, it it sounds like every once in a while um, you're you're rubbing the microphone or something's moving it, and so it's it's hard for me to hear. Sometimes it's even really loud. Okay, so um, if you can uh, keep yourself still for just a little bit, that'd be great. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So we have we have the word picked. Okay. I also want to practice uh, thirty. The word thirty minute right here. Thirty minutes. Try that, please. Thirty minutes. Good. One more time. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, now, um, this word here. This is the name of that that con uh, that jeep converted. All right. This is a jitney. 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 Good. One more time. Jitney. Jitney. 
Excellent. Okay. Um, and I think uh, I think uh, you all you really needed to do is kind of get warm, warmed up at the very beginning of of, uh, of your reading uh, when you came to the word valleys. You pronounce that with a B sound, saying valleys. All right. But yes, uh, the other times you had a V. Okay. You pronounce that V perfectly fine. Okay. But let's practice this anyway. The word is v valleys. Try that, please. Valleys. Great, excellent job. Very good reading. Okay, nice, nice job. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's go to uh, Aigun. Let me have you read uh, the next uh, the next two paragraphs, please. Aigun, are are you there? Uh oh, I think I may have lost her. All right, uh, hopefully I'll come back to you, um, Eduardo. Can I have you read the next uh, next uh, couple paragraphs, please? Yes. Um, Bojo was about a hundred years. Oh. Okay, Bojo was about a hundred years or so off the main road. The village was made up of 30 or 40 houses with a third of them bamboo huts just like Cassie said. Two dirt streets, more like white trails, divided the town. Animals were everywhere. The goats and chickens walked around unrestricted. The cows and pigs were in fencing lots. The rest of the houses were small one or two rooms. A small store was near the road with an open front where an array of mer merchandise was visible inside. Bread, eggs, cocks, beer, canned foods and a freezer. Tess, Tess told me the owner would start up a generator for a few hours a day to operate the freezer for the purpose of making ice. There, are, there was no electricity except that produced from generators. A man came out to meet and give Bessie a hug. She introduced me, which brought a handshake and a suspicious stare from him. They chatted for a minute in Tagalog, and then we started down one of the roads. All right, very good job. Uh, let's practice some words here, okay? <clears throat> our, our first word, uh, we'll, let's, let's go over some ED endings, okay? Now, um, when a word ends with an S sound, okay, this word, the base word is introduce, okay? When we add an ED at the end, that makes it past tense. All right, and uh, the ED endings have three endings. It's a T sound, a D sound, or an ID sound. Okay, the ID sound is like when it ends with a T, like chatted or started. Those were perfect. Okay, but when we have a word that ends with an S sound, like introduce, hear that S sound? When we add that D, that D then sounds like a T. Okay, the word is introduced. Try that, please. Introduce it. Okay, so we're not going to say introduce it. It's more of a straight T sound. Introduced. Try that. Introduce it. Okay, much better. Uh, let's try it here with this word. Uh, same type of ending. Produce. Okay, but we're going to add that D at the end, and that is going to be a T sound. Produced. Produce it. Okay, produce so instead, instead of saying produce it, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna split that word up. Okay, uh, so let's try this. Okay, we're gonna say produce. Let me have you try that word. Produce. Okay, produce. Good. All right. Now we're gonna say produce. Produced. There. That's it. Produced. Okay. Produced. Good. Okay. <clears throat> let's uh, let's take a look at uh, some other words here. All right, so I have um, another one that has an S ending as well. The base word is 
fence. Okay, we add a D at the end. This word is fenced. Fenced. Good. One more time, fenced. Fenced. Good. Okay, now this word here is walked. Okay, it ends with a K sound. When it ends with a K sound, that ED also makes a T. Okay, this word is walked. Walked. Great. One more time, walked. Walked. Great. Okay, so, um, uh, Eduardo, we've only gone over two of the rules. We had an ED ending uh, that uh, ends with a T. Okay, that would be started. Okay, that, now we've gone over the S sound. Okay, introduced, produced. Okay, as well as a K sound that has a T. Walked. Okay, it go. We uh, I have a lesson that goes through all of the different uh, um, uh, letters in the alphabet and how we pronounce those sounds. We only have three sounds. We've gone over two of them so far. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, write that down. If it ends with an S sound, that's a T. If it ends with a K sound, that's a T as well. Okay, good job. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice reading. Uh, let's go to okay. Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth, let me have you start uh, where it says you're going and read the next two paragraphs, okay? So you'll read until it says told me, okay? Okay. okay. You're going to get a lot of care this weekend. They don't see many tourists here, especially Americans, she say, with a little squeak on my hand. We stopped in front of the biggest house in the beach. In the village, I don't know how to say This was the house... Village. Her... Yes. Okay. This was the house her parents lived in. Her mom and dad came out to greet us. First impression was very positive. After some small talk, we were invited inside. There were four rooms with an an open front porch and a screen in back room. Tessie showed, showed me to her room. I taught her I could sleep on the couch or, or the back porch, but she smiled at my obvious awkwardness and taught me. Okay, just tell there. All right, so um, I want to practice the S sound with you. Okay, so for example, um, the word smiled. Let's focus on the S. Here you're saying eh smiled. So we're going to say smiled. Try that, please. Smiling. Great. Okay, so let's throw that into the sentence. And we're going to say, but she smiled at my obvious. Try that. But she smiled at my obvious. Good, good. Much better. All right, let's try it with the word sleep. Here you said, I could sleep on the porch. Now let's focus on that S sound. And we're going to say, I could sleep on the, po on the couch. I could sleep on the couch. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, when, when you're reading, make sure to focus on those S sounds so that you do not pronounce an E in front. Okay. Um, all right. Let's practice this word here. Uh, the word is invited. Invited. Good. One more time. Invited. Invited. Okay. So let's uh, let's talk about the V sound. When we pronounce a V, okay, uh, it's similar to the Spanish F. Okay, meaning that our teeth, these here, we place them right on our bottom lip, like that. Okay. And uh, when you say words like fuera, okay, your teeth are on top of your lips. Okay, but we squeeze down just a little bit more. And we say, v it's a vibration. Try that, please. V Good. There you go. So we're going to say, we're going to say, invited. Invited. There you go. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's try it with this new word for you. This word is village. Okay, almost. One more time. Village. Village. Good, good, good. Much better with that V. Okay, so um, so when, uh, when you are practicing reading and also when you're talking, okay, focus on your V sounds as well as your S sounds. 
Okay, okay. Okay? okay. And the, yeah, work on those just a little bit, okay? Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to uh, Emmanuel. Okay. It's okay, don't worry. I have to admit that I was feeling a little anxiety for the first time. Here I am, just a country boy from Arkansas, two years removed from my small hometown, and now I'm 300 miles from my ship. With a girl I'd only known for a short, for a short while, in a village, in the in the Philippines, with no phone, no transportation, and no one knew where I was. But whatever, I just has, I just had to relax and have a good, a good time with major, ma major trust and be on my best behavior which I usually was anyway. The first night was spent relaxing. Mr. Cruz fired up the gas, the gas stove and cooked up some kind of vegetable soup, which was delicious. After dinner, we sat on the front porch, sipping drinks, smoking, and chatting. Her dad was a World War II veteran who served under Mac Arthur? He didn't talk at all about the war, but Desi told me that he saw quite a lot of action and that he drew a small pension from the army, which was one of the reasons they had such a nice house. Good, thank you very much. Uh, let's practice some words here, okay? <clears throat> Now, um, when we talk about the world wars, we, we say World War II. Instead of second, it is World War II. Okay, World War, War II. Good, good, okay. Um, now, this word here, the word is soup. Soup, vegetable Ex soup. Yeah, vegetable soup. Now, with this word, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, now we're going to focus on a long U. Okay. Now, A. When you see an A in place of that U, okay, we're we're focusing a uh, an O. Okay. So the difference would be soup. Okay, that's something that you eat, and soap. Okay, uh, uh, that long O sound, soap. That is what we use. Uh, to wash our bodies. Okay, so the difference is the U and the A. Soap and soup. Okay. And uh, the 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 dish is soup, and the 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 thing that we use when we take a bath is soap. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, now uh, let's practice the word gas stove. Gas stove. Try that. Okay. Gas stove. Okay. Uh, try to focus on that S. Uh, right before that S, you're saying eh. Okay. So actually, what we want to do is combine the S sounds. So we don't want to uh, pronounce two S's. We want to pronounce one S and say gas stove. You hear how I combine that? Uh, gas stove. Try that. Gas stove. Good. One more time. Like, gas stove. Gas stove. Good, perfect. Okay, uh, this word here is behavior. Be behavior. Okay, behavior. Okay, behavior. Sorry, could you repeat Beha again? Sure, behavior. Be sure. Behavior. Behavior. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay, and uh, let's practice the J sound. We're gonna say major. 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 Good, much better. And uh, this word here, this word is ship. We're going to practice the I sound. Sh, ship, ship. 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 Good. Yeah, here you would actually use <laughs> the uh, short E and you said Shep. You. Okay, you had said Shep. Um, but yes, it would be a short I sound. Okay, a short E is Sh. And a short I is sh. Okay, so this word is ship. Okay, one more time. Ship. Ship. 
Chip. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank you. All Thank right. Very good. You. Let's go to uh, Laura. Hello, Chad. Hi there. Uh, let me have you read um, the next uh, uh, next two paragraphs um, and a little bit of the third. So we're going to go to Roosters. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. Oh, I I don't see it now. Uh huh. Uh, all through the village lamp lights were visible, and uh, as the night progressed, the light began to off. I remember thinking that this was such simple existence. Okay, Laura. Uh, wake up. Mm -hmm. Laura? Okay. Uh, yes. So, um, one thing that me and you have been practicing is the TH sounds, right? Remember the word the? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, okay. from here, I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you keep going here. But I want you to focus in on your, your TH sound. So instead of saying the and this, okay, pronounce that TH, okay. the and this. So focus on that just a little bit more, okay? All right, keep going. Uh, uh, oh, it's, I can see now. Mm -hmm. uh, wake up when the sun comes up, go to sleep when it gets dark. Uh, no TVs, no night night clubs, and just the dark and the sounds from the Nurbe jungle. Uh, this those sounds uh, were very prevalent. A scratch followed by a growl, and then a whistle continues. Mr. Christ was a quiet man and spoke excellent. Uh, English, but was a man of very few words. Uh, he did tell me uh, that some that sometimes uh, he and other men uh, from the village uh, would go finish uh, fishing or uh, hunting at night during certain times of the year. Uh, walk into the church at night. Uh, I was afraid to step off the porch. Uh, we called it a night. I didn't sleep much uh, that first night. I still felt uncomfortable uh, about the situation, and it was so quite expect for this screeching, groveling, and wish things. It seems like I just fallen asleep when the morning uh, was announced, announced by roasters. All right. Okay, so Laura, I'm really happy right now because uh, after I said, hey, just focus on it a little bit, you did great, okay? All of your TH sounds were really, really good, okay? So make a note for yourself. Next time you, next time you read, if I have you in my class and, and we're, we're doing reading, I'll try and do the same thing. I'll let you go for a little bit, see if you remember. If not, I'll stop you and I'll say, okay, focus in on your TH sounds, all right? And if you keep doing that, your your mind, okay, so your eyes going to your, your brain telling your mouth what to say, it'll start to get used to it and you'll start to pronounce those TH sounds without even thinking about it. Okay. okay. All right. Good, good okay. job. Um, I want to I wanna, uh, teach you a couple words here. Okay. Um, so this word here, this is whistling. <laughs> whistling. Mm, whistling. Good, yeah, so that T is going to be silent, whistling, okay? Um, okay. And this word here is jungle. Jungle. Yeah, and uh, what a jungle is? It's forest, like forest, no. Whoops. Yeah, it's like the forest, okay? But it's, uh, it's usually going to be very hot. Uh, the forest is uh, usually cool. Jungle is mm -hmm. hot. Okay, uh, hot and rainy, you'll have a lot of water and things like that. Okay, this is the jungle. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Excellent Thank job. You. All right, yes, what's up? Teacher, uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, I'd like to know the difference between uh, man in plural and man in singular, the pronunciation. Okay, great. So his question is between man and men. Okay. <clears throat> so first off, the uh, the spelling is different. One man that has an n, so singular. Okay. 
Singular is man with me in the middle. Ma, man. Okay. Plural. Okay, has a e. This is a short e sound. Okay, me, men, me. man, singular and men. Good. Singular. Yeah. So man singular, <clears throat> man and men, me, men, plural. Okay, good. Nice job, man. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Murat. How are you doing, Murat? Thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. And Laura, there is a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Murat, let's have you uh, continue here. We're going to go from uh, where it says the sun soaked. Okay. <clears throat> And I'll have you uh, finish off this paragraph. Uh, read the next one, and then do about half of this uh, uh, this third par this third paragraph. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay. <clears throat> the sun peeked uh, through the window, and a very fragrant smell filled the air. There was the familiar uh, smell of egg eggs cooking, but also that of fish. Uh, Mr. Cruz had gone fishing before sunup, so for breakfast we enjoyed eggs, fresh baked bread, and catfish. After breakfast, uh, Tessie's mom had a call for us. There was to be a wedding in the village that night, and she needed some material for a dress that she was making for the bread. She asked us to go to the tarlac for her. Mr. Cruz tried to give us some money, and after a lot of uh, effort, I convinced uh, her to let me pay for it. We headed down to, to the bus stop to catch the one and only bus that will take us uh, to tarlac, a good-sized town about uh, 45 minutes uh, away. We, we would have to shop fast so we could catch the bus back. The bus made one trip from the city out into the country and back once a day, and if you missed the return trip, you were stranded. And the bus showed up and we boarded. The passengers were quite an assortment of interesting characters. Half of them either uh, had a goat, a chicken, or a pig as their traveling companion. Why they were taking her? Uh, why they were taking their pigs, chicken, and goats to town? I really didn't want to know. But one thing for sure: the animals weren't that crazy about making the trip. Okay, very good. Thank All right, you. so we're gonna we're gonna practice. Uh, the word thing okay thing. we're practicing the th sound okay the word is thing okay think okay so when we pronounce the th <clears throat> okay we stick our tongue between our teeth thing thing try that okay try that murat we say thing Think. Good. That's it. Nice job. One more time. Thing. Think. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's check out some words we can practice together. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, this word here is away. Uh, you pronounce that W like a V sound, saying ave. Okay. That W is more like an O. We say a away. Away. Try that, please. Uh, away. Uh, Away. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, okay. Our next word is pay. This is a long A sound. Okay. You had said pie. Okay. The word is pay. Pay. Excellent. One more time. Pay. Pay. Very okay. good. Okay. Um, my next word is the word convinced. Uh, if I can find that here. Okay, right here. Uh, this word is convinced. Try that, please. Convinced. Con convinced. Excellent. Con One more time. Convinced. 
Good, good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Our next word is chore. Chore. Okay, so this uh, this word here, that ch is pronounced like a ch sound. So the word is chore. Chore. Good. One more time. Chore. Chore. Excellent. Okay. Uh, last word, uh, right here. The word is through. Through. Good. One more time. Practice that th sound. Through. 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 Good. Much better. Much better. All right, nice job, Murad. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, move on. Let's go to uh, uh, Shaden. Yes. Okay, Shaden. Uh, let me have you uh, finish off this paragraph. Read the second one, and we'll read about uh, two thirds of this uh, third paragraph here. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Halfway to the city of the of the bricks, picked a fight with the one of the goats and if that wasn't bad enough one of the chickens decides to join to and two shorting buying and chickens Peter spelled the inside of the bus until their owners can't settle them all down we arrived in Talek found the material shop grabbed a pie to eat and then called the bus back no livestock was on the path ride home but some of the people who had been on the trip to Talek were returned with all their pigs, goats, and chickens. Now, I really didn't want to know what happened to them, but I had my suspicions. Back in the village, we spent the afternoon just walking around and even took a help down a trail that led to a beautiful stream. This was where her dad had caught the fish that morning. The water was crystal clear as it mannered did through the jungle. We sit on a rock for a while, enjoying the view. This told me that if, you, if we would be real quick and remain still for a few minutes, we might get to some uh, see some of the jungle's many animals. Sure enough, about five minutes later, a couple monkeys scrambled across a tree limb. Then another one came down a tree on the opposite Thank. Colorful fish could be seen swimming in the clear water as well as water bags. She said we may even got lucky and see a pollock, which in the local name for a water monitor, or again lizards that likes to sprinkle the water tanks of the area looking for bags and fish. We stayed pasted the creek for a half hour, but no pollock. We had a winding to get ready for so back the house we went. Okay, just tell right there. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's practice some words together. Uh, this word here that I've highlighted is beside. Beside. Good. One more time. Beside. Beside. Very good. Um, this word here is scampered. Scampered. Okay, one more time. Scampered. Scampered. Excellent. Okay. Um, our next word here is uh, meander. I can't see it in the screen. Oh, you can't see it on the screen? Okay. Let me uh, let me put it in the chat box for you. Okay. Okay. This word is meandered. Meandered. Okay. One more time. Meandered. Meandered. Excellent. Okay. Uh, this word is caught. Okay. Out. Okay. That caught. that that you would not make a sound. We say ah, ca, caught. One more time. Caught. Good. Okay. Uh, last word here is hike. Okay. There it is. Hike. Hike. Good, excellent job. Yeah, so that uh, that, that e is silent at the end, and this is a long i sound. Hike. Okay? What does it What does it mean? Hike. Uh, a hike. Uh, a hike means to walk in the uh, in the jungle, walk in the forest. So basically, to uh, walk in nature. Okay. Um, sometimes you're you're walking uphill. 
Okay, hiking usually refers to climbing uh, some sort of a mountain, but not rock climbing like this. Okay, uh, you're usually walking. You're you're just walking. Okay, that that would be what hiking is. Okay, um, now uh, great pronunciations. Your R's were really good. E D endings and things like that. Uh, we had a, a few new words like scampered and meandered that uh, that I imagine are new for pretty much everybody in class. But uh, but yes, you did uh, a very good job reading. Excellent. Nice work. Thank you. Okay, let's go to uh, Java. All right, Jada. Let uh, let me have you read the next uh, the next three paragraphs, okay? Okay. Okay. This starts out. Uh, turned out we weren't. Turned out we weren't actually going to the wedding, just the wedding reception. As those approached, we all walked to the east side of the village, which was a little park with a piezo. A generator was buzzing, keeping several strings of colored lights glowing that were strong around the rails and hanging from the, the ceiling. I noticed a tone table with the speakers also hooked up to the generator. I thought I'd maybe get to hear some traditional Philippine folk music. The happy cop show up. They look like they were early twenties or maybe even late teens. Tessie told me they had grown up together here in the village. Both of their fathers were farmers. She said most of the time that the norm for kids here unless they decide to venture out. The boy had left the village for a couple of years to attend school in Manila, but has returned for her and to work with his fathers and hers. There was plenty of food and drinks. I noticed that every time I couldn't tour around, I catch people looking at me. Tess had warned me that I draw a lot of attention. This bothered me a little. Not that I mind people be curious about me. I just didn't want to take anything from the bright and grown. This was their night and I didn't want to become a distraction, so I tried to keep low key. Okay, very good. Uh, let's practice some words here, okay? Um, uh, this word here, warned. Okay, so we're going to go from that N right to the D sound. The word is warned. Warned. Good, nice job. Okay, um, let's see. Very good job with this uh, this paragraph here. Uh, I only had one word that I wanted to practice. The word is showed. Showed. Good, good. One more time. Showed. Showed. Okay. Um, let's go to uh, this word here. Okay, the word is ceiling. 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 Okay, it's going to be a uh, a long e sound. Okay, just like a Spanish I. So instead of saying selling, it is C, ceiling. Ceiling. Good. One more time. Ceiling. Ceiling. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's pronounce this um, more like a gringo would. Okay. So instead of saying colored, okay, and using an O sound, we're going to say ca, colored. Color. Okay, one more time. Colored. 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 Okay, good. Good. All right, and one last word here. Okay, this word, uh, the way that we pronounce this in English would be gazebo. 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 Okay, very close. Let's try that one more time. It is gazebo. Gazebo. 
Good. Nice job. All right. Thank you for for reading, Java. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go to. Uh, let's do uh, one last paragraph. Uh, Aigun, let's uh, let's have you read really quick here, okay? I am here, yes. Okay, All right. okay. Let me have you read. Um, since we're we're I running don't... really low on time, I'm gonna only have you read one paragraph, okay? This next one that starts off after okay. we finished, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I read. Um, after we finished with the peace, the breed and the groom's fathers got up and made a speech. I couldn't understand much of what they said. I spoke a little Tagalog, but certainly not enough for as fast as they were speaking, and there are so many dialects on the island that it's impossible to know them all. Uh, are you hearing me? Uh, yes, I hear you just fine. Keep Tessie going. To oh, okay. Tessie told me uh, what they were saying. They were happy and thrilled about the union, and they looked forward to many grandchildren. Sounded just like what a bride and a groom's parents would say back home. Okay, nice then job. Then the speeches just, were done. Just tell right, just tell right okay. there, okay? I apologize. Yes, we, we are running out of time a little bit. Okay? Now, um, okay. great job. Great job with your R sounds here at the end. Here on bride and grooms, and also parents, your R's were fabulous. Uh, but here at the beginning, okay, they were a little off. So what we're going to practice, we're going to practice saying bride and groom's fathers. Try that, please. Bride okay. and groom's fathers. Bride and groom's fathers. Uh-huh. Okay. Bride now, with and that... groom's. Bride and groom's. Uh -huh. Good. Bride and groom's fathers. Good. All right. Not much better with that th sound as well. Okay. Um, let's practice the th sound here with the word there. 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 Okay. All right. Make sure. Make sure when you pronounce that uh, that th that you stick your tongue between your teeth and you say th there. There. Okay. There. One more time. Th there. There. Okay, good. Nice job. There. Okay, let's mm -hmm. practice it. Let's practice that with the word the. Okay, the. The. Okay, the word the. the. Excellent. Okay. Now, when uh, when you're when you are uh, when you are reading, mm -hmm. Igun, uh, when you are reading. Okay. Uh, focus in on your on your R sounds yeah. that follow consonants like a B R. Okay, like br bride. Okay, as well as your T H sounds like the and there. Okay. okay, you can pronounce them just the fine, but uh, but you need to uh huh. You need to focus on those when you are reading. Okay. Okay. All right. Fabulous. Uh, okay, you guys. I Nope, I, I I do apologize. We we are out of time for for the hour. Okay, uh, so thank you guys for coming to class. Uh, I'm done for the night, um, and uh, have a great night, morning, or afternoon wherever you are at. All right, it was good seeing you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.